Hello there everybody, it is Mifizer Bunny, and welcome back to episode 7 of The Sims 4 House Building, the Thailand Royal Palace in real time, okay guys? So yes, you guys, we're back! Um, I'm gonna do another batch of recordings for you guys for this week, but before we start building, I'm gonna go ahead and read some of your comments on YouTube, okay guys? So, um, okay. First comment, Bambi Plushy said, Will you upload a speed up version? Because for now, I don't have enough time to keep up with the Let's Build series, but I want to watch so bad. Okay, so um, right now I'm not thinking of building, doing a speed build version because um, it's, you know, it's, I'm already recording and doing the commentary in real time. So I don't think so. That's going to be a no. However, she did give me an idea that I might do in the future. I'm not sure if I have time, I might do a speed build, but realistically speaking, if I actually made a speed build of all the episodes, it will take a really, really long time and I might have to split it into multiple parts anyway. So like, yeah, I think it might even be two to three parts. So I don't think I'm going to be doing a speed build. However, if you still want to see the palace in its complete form, I will do a video overview or walkthrough as we call it in the architectural world. I will do that in the final video that I'm going to be doing for this house. And there will be no commentary, just background music and stuff like that. So I think, I think it'll be able to showcase the rest of the palace and all that stuff. Okay. Also, you guys really, really love the dark brown slash yellow color scheme. So I'm really, really happy to hear that you guys are responding really positively to it. Um, I, it was, you know, it was a spur of the moment thought, but it actually turned out really well. And I really, really like all the different combinations. Okay, so I'm just going to search up some of the other comments right here as well. Um, okay. Kimantari, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce your name. This girl gave me, or guy, this person gave me so much information. I couldn't read the whole comment, but it's so long. Thank you for all the advice. I'm definitely going to use it. Uh, and also, let's see here. Ethan Bear. Okay, Ethan Bear said, If you press F5, you can still place objects on the grid more freely. If that makes any sense, just try it. Okay, is this even gonna work? I haven't heard of this yet, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna grab an object here really quickly. Okay, so this is without pressing F5 and... Oh, yes! This is amazing! Oh my god, Ethan, you are so awesome. This is so awesome! It still snaps to the grid without, you know, like, in, in smaller, um, like quantic I don't know like but yeah this it does snap to the grid this is so awesome thank you so much Ethan Bear and also extra thanks for going the extra mile and making sure that I actually read your comment cuz he sent me literally this comment on all my social media Facebook Twitter and multiple videos okay anyway that's going to be it for this comment section I try to keep it up for you guys in all the videos that I make I try to um like read your guys's comments because i do know that it does take a little bit of effort to comment now i'm gonna delete the kitchen really quickly and um that's what we're gonna be working on for this part pretty much the kitchen and the bathrooms on the ground floor for the guests as well as the master bathroom on the second floor i'm gonna address all the different things or like difficult aspects that we came across um and I kind of just left hanging pretty much. So I'm going to address all those different things. So the layout for the kitchen is going to change. I'm going to go for something that's completely symmetrical. Because it did bother me how all over the place the layout was. And I'm going to feel so much better if I just made it symmetrical like this. And these two rooms over here are going to be uh, guest bathrooms. Or powder rooms. Or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but the kitchen, I am going to maintain the color scheme of it. So there we go. I also noticed that outside needs a little bit of repair because um, some of the items got deleted and some of the trims got removed and things like that. So those need to be put back as well. Uh, okay, I totally forgot which. Okay, I believe we had three windows over here. Okay, there we go. And then 
yep we didn't have any trims over here i want to hear what you guys have to say about me reading the comments it's just my way of trying to incorporate you guys in the videos because believe it or not your guys' comments really 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 do help me out a lot you know especially like motivation wise and stuff like that it it also you guys give me some really really good tips i have been building in this game ever since i started playing in 2004 and i'd like to consider the, the sims as like an extension of my organs or like my body it's literally like an extension of my body because i know this game so freaking well i know all the other previous iterations of it really really well as well so especially starting from the sims 2 but the amazing thing is that i don't know everything you know there's still a lot for me to discover and i really really like any of your guys's comments that are helpful and teach me more about this game that i have been playing for literally half of my life and and I feel like I don't know enough. <laughs> I feel like I should know more than I do, but I don't know. It, it's just amazing to discover more and more awesome things. Like Ethan Bear's recommendation to try out, that was amazing. Like I did not expect it. I was expecting that to be incorporated in like The Sims 5, but I don't know. It's just a really, really cool feeling discovering things. Okay, anyway, so the kitchen is a huge, huge, huge space it is insanely huge but i don't think that's necessarily a bad thing because we have to keep in mind that this kitchen is going to be used by the queen herself to cook her private meals and things like that um so yeah i want to make sure that i do the lighting really well here so we don't have any any problem so we're gonna place them here for now um hopefully that's gonna give us ample lighting uh, but yeah I did mention to you guys in the previous parts or so that um, kitchens in royal palaces tend to be a little bit more industrial looking but there are some palaces that have kitchens for exclusive use for the royal family I know that the White House has like a kitchen exclusively for the use of the first lady and stuff like that so just to give you guys a little bit of perspective, it does happen and it does exist in other parts of the world as well. Uh, so I'm gonna outline all the different counters over here. And we have so much counter space, it's it's literally amazing, okay? I am going to actually... And we have a huge wall over here where we can put like literally a crap ton of clutter and decorations and stuff. Now, I did experiment a little bit off camera just with the layout. Uh, with the rooms, I didn't do anything with the furniture and stuff like that, so I did speed by um, really, really fast in the early parts of this video, but eventually it's gonna, you know, go back to its normal slow pace. Uh, and I also want to put um, those cabinets that I love, like so, um, and then maybe even over here on the sides, like that. Okay, the thing is, symmetry is like something that i'm so familiar with already because you know i i i i don't think that a lot of you guys know but i started my passion for architecture by looking at old buildings interestingly enough i've been looking at old buildings like neoclassical renaissance baroque rococo architecture and things like that i've been looking at that a lot and then i realized that okay i'm passionate about this i want to do this as a, a job and you know, I think being more familiar with period style architecture, it's a little bit, I'm a little bit more comfortable to work around the parameters of it. So um, that's why I'm kind of just like going with it, you know. I think I'm going to replace these counters with some larger ones instead. Uh, you guys can see that I use these floor the ceiling counters almost some of you guys might think that that is an excessive use of space but i really really want to use these corner ones um but it's not gonna let me use it so and i'm i'm, I'm it's just you know it's not worth it you guys um but anyway like i was saying you guys might notice me use like some floor to ceiling cabinets once in a while probably more than i should be using them but the reason for that is usually if you have a really really high wall 
like we have right here, it's not easy to actually make it feel like a room because the higher your ceiling, kind of the more open the room feels and the larger it is. And one really important thing that we need to consider in architecture is the scale of humans. It's human scale and people still need to feel comfortable in the space and if you make it too too big if you make your ceilings too too high it takes away from that this is an idea that actually was introduced by the greeks um i think there's a there's a quote i forgot who the philosopher is but they said man is the measure of all things and that is a philosophy that we still continue on to this day Pretty much everything from the counters to the windows to the doors are all measured based on human movement and scale. So that's why I try to incorporate some floor to ceiling cabinetry to kind of bring the floor and the ceiling closer together and, and create a space. You know, it's, it's not just about creating a room and furnishing it, it's creating an effect of a space. Uh, so it's I don't know I don't want to go overly technical but I'm pretty sure you guys are getting something interesting from these anyway uh, so I want to use some really really expensive looking um, yeah hardware over here so I think I might use these ones and yes I will place these in pairs probably even the fridge as well will be placed in pairs like so I I you guys are probably gonna hate me for it but okay I'll take it bring all the hate I like symmetry so what I mean just bring all the hate you guys I don't I don't want to have to explain myself <laughs> okay I'm pretty sure you guys will understand anyway so that's that and then let's see what else do we need to do we need to incorporate something in the middle and I think I think we can fit in a counter or something. I think we can. I'm not sure. We're gonna see. Okay, let's grab, oopsie. Let's grab a counter. Let's put like a center island over here. And I'm not sure whether or not, I. Oh, you know what? It's okay. I think the space is not so bad, which is, you know, once again, takes advantage of one of my favorite features in the game. And that is the ability of the Sims to kind of snuggle their way into a small space. I really, really like that feature. Is this one gonna take up less space? I wonder. Yeah, I think it does. Um, I think I'm gonna use those ones instead. I'm not gonna be placing bar stools anyway, so it doesn't necessarily have to be like a bar-ish counter. And then we're just gonna put the corner pieces uh, like so. Beautiful effect it has as well. And then over here for the oak, actually. Um, can I just, yeah, actually I can use this one instead. There we go. Um, yeah, that's beautiful. I really, really like that. I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys who are a little bit more of modernist, um, you guys who have a little bit more of a modernist aesthetic are probably cringing because of the s symmetry that we have, but I mean, I really like it, you guys. And I know that somewhere deep in your heart, you will learn to appreciate it. And please, it's a royal palace, you guys. Just understand that it's a, it's a royal palace. I mean, like, it needs to be grand. It needs to be regal, even if it's a place that nobody will even see, like a kitchen. Um, it's It still needs to... Um, it still needs to exist in a dignified way, if that makes any sense. Okay, these actually look really nice. This, 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 this coming up white. Oh no, it doesn't. Okay. I think, yeah, okay. I think I'm gonna be consistent with like the modern elements and just keep those in. What do you guys think? I think that's okay. I think that Her Highness would probably appreciate having those there and then. Uh, okay, we're gonna plop in some curtains and I believe we used these ones previously so we're gonna stick to these and we're gonna keep them blue to kind of tie in with the colors that we have on the curtains. Beautiful shape as well to these curtains. Okay, and I'm gonna leave the middle one vacant because it's 
It has a stove. We don't want to burn the house down, or do we? Hmm. Uh, no, we don't. Okay, so next thing that we need to do are some... Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, we need to place in some... What do you call those? Sinks, okay? And I'm going to place them just in front of the... Uh, in front of these. Like, I, what were the sinks that I used previously? Was, was it this one or... It's either that or... No, that's not it. These two sinks look so much like they're this, like, literally... Okay, I'm looking for one that has kind of the same metal texture. Okay, we'll just have to look for it, I guess. I'm not sure. Does this one come in our material? Nope, it doesn't. I think it's actually... No, it's not that, because that came with... Um... Perfect patio. I know actually this one came with cool kitchen. Uh, I'm getting it all mixed up. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this. I'm not even gonna bother. And then one finishing touch that we need to put is like a cute little ornament over here in the middle. Those, I don't know what those are called specifically. Okay, these ones are called pot rack. Mm, yeah, sure. I'm not gonna make, I'm not gonna make a joke out of it. I think. Yeah, I think people have already made that joke. Um, pot rack, haha. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna keep it in that color because it kind of ties in. Maybe we can make it like a darker. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. We're gonna, you know what? Yeah. I'm j I just wanna go for the cool color option. And my voice cracked as usual. And then all we need to do is pretty much decorate this space over here with a bunch of things. Of course, we need to put some shelves. And these ones come in a white, so these are th the best choice, of course. I don't even see the shelf. Okay, let's just, um... Okay, okay guys, I know that there's a lot of symmetry right now, but there's gonna be a little bit of asymmetry when it comes to the decorations, which we are going to choose. Uh, the funny thing is there's very, very limited decorations that we can put actually on these shelves themselves, cause I don't know, but it's, it's really annoying how limited the choices are. Uh, I, I don't think- oh, these ones. Okay, hmm. Should we- Okay, we're gonna put one of each on either side, and then um, over here. Okay, we can. I don't know. I don't want to go too over, like too crazy. And I'm looking for those, like spoon holders or things, like a gravy cup or something like that. I don't know. Plop it there, and then this one can go like. Like that, and then this one can be here, and then maybe we can put a plant or something like that. Cool, cool beans. See asymmetry, people. Asymmetry. Can I get an applause? Just can I get can I get some? No. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, what else do we need to put? I saw some really awesome things over here. Uh, okay. In the corner, we're gonna put actually these t these tongs. I believe these belong right next to the stove and salt and pepper. Oh my gosh, this is a lot of cool kitchen already. Okay, I'm not gonna go over the top with cool kitchen, but I think <laughs> you still need it to make it look like how it does. Spice racks, yes! Okay, let's put this guy over here. Okay, there we go, whatever. And that I want it to look like the Queen's actually using it, so yeah. And then what else? I think I feel like we need to put a little oh my gosh, this is scary. This <laughs> chopping board. Okay, let's put put it there. Is there a chopping board that came with? Is there one? Ooh, pots and pans. Literally, I'm putting everything I, I find. Cause I know that you guys like your clutter. Um, of course, we're gonna edit out the things that we don't really need anyway, so we're gonna figure it out as we go. Where's that one, um, sauce thing that I, I really liked? K 
came with. Um, it's probably here. Okay, tons of clutters and stuff. Okay. Uh... Just looking for some spots to place these guys. And of course we need some tissue. I mean, these are so freaking useful. I use these tissue things like all the freaking time. Cause I, I don't want to wipe. Like, okay, we're going to do that. And we need a little bit more plants. Let's actually make that that. And then this one we can make it like yeah okay I don't you know what? let's delete it I feel like it's one too many decorations already Ooh, look at this this is so cute um so I think I'm gonna change it into ooh, it's not changing yeah let's just keep it like that it did look really classy the way it was and then I was thinking of some other um, decorative things but I forgot uh, okay Oh, yep, of course, more spices over here. And then we're just gonna plop in some plants around the place. Um, I actually really, really like using these. Where are those? Sun, no, 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 no. I don't think sunflowers grow in Thailand. I feel like they might grow in Thailand, but I think these flowers are definitely more regal. Plus, they kind of tie in our color scheme. You know, we have a little bit of blue detail in the pots in the flowers. So I really like that. And then over here, we can plop it like so. Maybe one more somewhere over here. Let's see here. Uh, let's do... Kind of want to put it in the middle, though. Okay, this guy can go somewhere. We can keep it like that, and then let's do that. And then this tissue thing can go away. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I guess we can put it here. Okay, there we go. Cool beans. And then, do we need some more clutter? Okay, the only thing that we probably need right now are some wall decorations. I think that's the only missing aspect to it. So I did see a bunch of different menus and things off camera. Okay, these are the ones. I actually want to use these ones instead because, yeah, I feel like, you know, you just, okay. And we're going to make it asymmetrical and we're going to place uh, these ones on this side. There we go. See, it's for you guys. I do know how to compromise and I do know how to take in um, you know, like, your guys' suggestions. I do. I do know how to listen, so I, I feel like I have to kind of, like, pat myself on the back every time I listen to you guys, because it does take a little bit of, um, compromise, but you know what? I know that you guys only want the best for this project, so I'm more than happy to listen to you guys. And I really want to use these for some strange reason. What do you think? Is that like a little bit too much? I don't know. Uh, I kind of want to use like these ones again. <laughs> Is that like too much? Like we already used it like multiple times already. And I don't see any other painting that has to do with kitchen stuff. So this might be an issue. Okay, we're not going to for- Okay, these ones. Okay, we're just going to put these ones. Just to give it a little bit of a fresh air type of thing, you know, some uh, just a breath of fresh air. Something exciting, and there we go! Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I really, really like the kitchen now. I don't know, I'm so, so freaking proud of it. And yeah, I hope you guys also like it as well. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and actually move on to the guest areas, um, which is over here. Uh, of course, I'm gonna... Should I... Do you think I should keep it male and female? It really doesn't matter anyway, because... I'm... You know what? Let's not, because it doesn't come in a door that I like, so... Yeah. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to just do it... Unisexually. Which is... 
I mean, which is an okay thing. Anyway, I really don't mind. Uh, I want to see like what type of door we used. Okay, let's just use these ones. Like that, and then this is gonna be so freaking difficult because of the small space. Um, you know, if you keep making things in like such a big space, once you get to the smaller spaces, it's it's a little bit hard to figure it out. But you know, it's 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 okay. It's, it's part of the challenge. Part of the challenge. Okay, let's do that. And of course, it's gonna be completely symmetrical because I really don't care about the bathrooms. I just seriously. Who cares? Does anybody care? I'm pretty sure somebody cares, but I really don't, so... Yeah, let's just keep it nice and simple. Okay, um... Let's do the one first, and then we're gonna just copy-paste everything else. Okay. And I need to cough. Alright, alright, alright. Bathroom time. <laughs> Everybody does that impersonation, by the way. Like, seriously, Matthew McConaughey is awesome for coming up with those crazy, just crazy, like, mannerisms and stuff. I don't know. It's so freaking awesome and hilarious. Um, and I never used this, actually, in my build, so we're going to try to use that. And we're just gonna keep it in white. Uh, what's the difference between this and that? Okay, we're gonna keep it in white, like the purest white that we have. And then, um... Okay, we're just gonna do that. And then, what else do we need to do? What else do we need to have in a bathroom, actually? I mean, I think we need a mirror. So let's slap in a nice little mirror really quickly. Uh, let's go to decorations, and I usually stick to just one mirror in my builds, but this time I'm gonna go and actually decorate things a little bit more, because let's think about the type of guests that are gonna be using this. They're probably gonna be ambassadors, maybe even members of the royal family, if it's- I mean, literally though, that is probably the most awkward thing you can talk about. Like, nobody, like, talks about taking a dump or something like that. You know, it's like, the most vulgar thing you can able- you can probably bring up. But, I mean, they do it, it there's no doubt about it, but nobody just brings it up. Okay, I'm gonna use these toilets, cause they look really posh. I mean, no, that's not a toilet. That is a towel. And then maybe we can plop in some... What is this? What is this? Countryside medicine cabinet? Nope. Body shower. Shower candy. Um, I mean, they need some soap, right? Or something. I don't even know. I don't want to go all, all over the top as well, because I think... Going minimal in this case is the best option. So I think I'm just gonna throw a nice little plant here and call it a day on the guest bathrooms. Uh, let's see who- Ooh, I can actually snap this. With the F5, yes! Ooh. Uh, but no, it's not working. Maybe this one. I don't even think that a lot of people know that you can do this. Okay, none of it's working. I, you know, F5 works, okay, but it's not working the way I want it to. I just want to plop in a plant over here. Okay, actually this one might work. What do you guys think? Um, okay, it's between this plant or this plant. This one, I haven't used it yet, so I'm kind of leaning towards it. And I know, I, I can see it. It intersects the thing, but... I, yeah, it's, it's not, it's not so bad, you know, it's, ah, uh, okay, there, it doesn't intersect anymore, you happy now, <laughs> okay, no, but it's okay, I think it's a better decision to place it, actually, you know what, I want it, I want it in the middle, the plant's gonna go here on the other, you know what, whatever, let's just keep it like that, okay, bring on the hate, you guys, bring on the hate, I know, I know, I'm doing my best, I'm, I'm doing my best, <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then let's just throw in a rug. There we go. That's nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And we can make it a blue color just to match with some details that we already have in the room. 
And, uh, ooh, that's actually really nice. What do you guys think? Should we go for a blue motif? Um, yeah, let's, I think white is a little bit more dignified, so I think we're just gonna stick to that. Okay, cool bead. That was fast. Okay, we need to put something here. Just put a nice painting or something. Okay. And please know, you guys, that I'm freaking exhausted. I just came back from school. I had a consultation with my thesis advisor, and we had to choose our jury. It's 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 been a crazy, crazy day. I'm still a little bit behind, to be completely honest with you guys, but I mean, it's it's I'm not gonna go anywhere if I kind of force myself to come up with a good topic and argument and things like that. It's whatever, I'll figure it out. Please pray for me, you guys, please. Okay, anyway, I'm mean, just I'm, I should probably not bring that up because that's just I mean, seriously though, who cares? Okay, I'm just gonna place this kid really like that. Anyway, um, I uploaded an update video. If you guys haven't seen it yet, actually, you know what? Since we do have some blue motifs happening, I think we can use some more blue in this house. And let's just do that. That and then over here, like so. And I know this is a little bit weird, but I'm gonna change the floor to carpet because we have some really nice blue carpets and stuff. And who freaking cares? I mean, royalty can afford to replace the carpet if it gets wet and stuff like that. Ooh, we have a new carpet over here. It's really nice. I didn't even know that though. Actually, I do. I saw that when I was doing the overview for, um, like, what was that thing again? Um, spooky stuff. There we go. Anyway, I just posted an update video. If you guys haven't seen it yet, please check it out. It has a lot of new awesome information. I kind of have a not unofficial channel schedule, and I'm pretty sure you guys get it already. Um, this series in particular is uploaded every Wednesdays and Thursdays um, and other Let's Plays are uploaded on other times of the week and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure you guys know already so I'm not gonna... Or if you guys haven't seen it yet, it's on my channel. It's called The October Update. I'm just checking the outside for some anomalies that we might have deleted. I never notice like all the different um, mistakes that I make. Which is a little bit funny how, it's just so funny how much you guys notice it more than I do. But that's gonna be it for this like lower ground area. And don't worry, I'm not gonna end it yet. Uh, <laughs> now we're gonna do the upstairs bathroom as well. And I think for the bathrooms, I'm literally just gonna stick to one color scheme, which you guys are probably gonna hate me for as well. But I just, I you know, I mean, who, who cares? Like, seriously, I mean, like, people probably care, but, like, I think it's, it's okay. It's blue, it's relaxing, and it's, it's the color of water. There we go. I'm gonna use the chandelier over here. Um, the only reason why I'm a little bit apprehensive to use the chandelier is that it doesn't give off that much light, um, so... I think I'm gonna be going a little bit symmetric on you guys again, uh, so prepare yourself. Okay, we're gonna do this, and then there's gonna be- okay, I don't know why I keep like choking on my voice. <gasps> Am I getting too old? I think I'm getting too old for this, um, <laughs> but if for some reason I keep choking and stuff, so anyway, and we're gonna have to change the colors. Ooh, that's beautiful. This, I love. That looks so much like a Chinese, um, like, what do you call it? Chinese, um, China? <laughs> Chinese porcelain. Uh, so, but the thing is, there's a lot of porcelain all over the world, so that's why I specify Chinese, because it usually has, like, the blue details. And yes, it's Chinese. The English just copied it, for goodness sake. Okay. Beautiful. I, I'm torn between these two bats. I'm gonna use this one. It's a little bit more theatrical. So, we're gonna use that one. And then, um, I'm gonna keep it gold, because why not? They can afford it. And then, of course, we're probably gonna plop in a nice little rug. Ooh! Ooh! 
so many fun options and i now that i think about it we also have a ton of new colors i mean we have a ton of new options for the rugs of course because we can enlarge them now i'm gonna use this one beautiful very very regal as well i think i'm actually going to duplicate this does that look weird to you guys or something i don't know we'll have to see there we go that doesn't look bad <laughs> looks really weird i don't know why it looked really weird to me so and then we're just gonna change the color of this rug to kind of match our situation it's been forever since i've said that term beautiful color oh my gosh yes i love it we can say we can just pretend like her highness like the queen she loves to take her bath since she, she takes her time in the bathroom and things like that so so yeah i actually forgot to give them a closet oopsie my bad we might have to put it okay we're gonna put the closet somewhere over here on the side we'll figure it out uh but i really like to use these coat racks um i used this first on my alexander palace build and i'm just like okay i am in love and there we go i'm not gonna make it completely symmetrical on the other side i'm gonna try to place a chair <laughs> a chair you guys yes because I want to and it's excessive I know but they're royalty like come on like seriously <laughs> okay like okay I actually really like that and so far we haven't used any chair of this style yet so that's great I think I'm gonna keep it in I wish it had like a pattern or something that it has a pattern to it Okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go for that. And then, okay, since it's a little bit dark, I'm gonna grab an end table, and I think I'm gonna use uh, these ones, because these look very, very royal. I'm gonna plop them there, and yeah. So, yeah, I'm also gonna place some curtains blue curtains like that and then an upper tier or scallop because that's very royal right that's that has a very weird color happening like the, like right there but whatever and then i'm gonna place some lampshades because i yeah i think lampshades would look really really awesome i think we can even use these ones i use these guys all the time so or maybe these ones I'm not sure. I, I want to keep the regal feel to it. Okay, we're going to use these ones. Some of the lampshades that already are existing in this lot, we already use. So these ones we haven't used yet. And I'm going to plop in a nice little flower bouquet. I think this one, like that. Oopsie. Oh. Very, very, very nice, if I do say so myself. And then just to keep the symmetry going on i'm gonna place some plants on the sides as well i think these ones look really great because they look very tropical to me i don't know what i don't know about you guys but they look very tropical so actually maybe the, these ones would work as well i don't know that's nice i kind of like that in the corner it kind of gives me a little bit of um a jungle type of vibe which is awesome right like i mean seriously thailand jungle just please connect the dots okay and then this guy i am going to place him over here and yes i'm pressing f5 oh my gosh like so and then we're gonna go and maybe plop in a couple more just extra plants to keep in with that jungle detail can this even be pressed can you can i mean okay whatever uh i think that's a little bit much so i think we're just gonna keep it like that we still need to have some lights though it's a little bit dark still okay let's do that beautiful i really 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 like it like that um and yes you guys there's no symmetry how exciting is that okay and we need to place some borders over here to uh kind of 
Yes, I, I didn't forget. I didn't forgot. I didn't forget. Okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, we're gonna place these guys over here, actually, on the corners, like so. In keeping with the design choices that we've already made. And since we placed a column, I'm gonna go ahead and place some over here for good measure. Even though I'm a little bit sure that the game's gonna delete them <laughs> either way. But I mean, it, they're there, so... Um, if you keep move objects on, the game might not delete it, so... Okay, so all we need now are some closet space. We need some storage. And it's a huge bathroom anyway, so I don't see any reason why they couldn't change here. So yeah. Okay, let's do that. Beautiful. And actually, maybe even just this one would be enough. Yeah, I think that one would be awesome. That looks very regal as well. It reminds me of the cabinet that Belle has in Beauty and the Beast. And then we're going to throw in some counters. Uh, surfaces. And let's see here. We're just going to go for the, the same counters that we use all the freaking time. And then there we go. We can say that Queen Securit, who is actually the Queen of Thailand, she was the one who kind of thought about this and kind of coordinated with the architects to end up with this result. Okay. I think, actually, you know what? We're better off with these. And I'm going to turn on the grid like so. It's going to make it a lot more easier for me to figure things out there we go that's nice and then okay so you guys can see that the walls that we have they're a little bit tall they're they're very tall actually so i'm gonna place in these cabinets if you guys remember my little quick little lesson there earlier on proportion and stuff like that so anyway you know what whatever now that I see it like that I think I'd rather use these ones instead okay there we go and I love how we're trying to be consistent with the bathroom furniture that we use like the color schemes are the same as the bathroom on the ground floor which is nice isn't it quite nice I don't know I, I really like that idea and then let's just do that uh, I hope I think they have enough space anyway to use that armoire over there and then all we need to do is place some plumbing we need to place some sinks of course since this is a shared bedroom between his majesty the king of Thailand and her majesty the queen of Thailand I actually know their names Queen Sekirit and King Bumibol Adulia Dej oh my gosh I hope I said that right it's it's very difficult, the Thai language is, there's a lot of difficult things to pronounce, is, that's all I'm gonna say, uh, but I don't know. And I'm just looking for a sink that has the same color, okay, you know what, let's just go for that. And then of course the mirrors are gonna be gilded like cray cray. I actually really like this one, I wonder if we can enlarge that. Nope, we can't, and it messes up the whole reflection of, in the mirror. So I think I'm gonna use these instead. They're very royal and um, very reliable as well, if I do say so myself. There we go. Beautiful. And you know what? I'll lower these a little bit like that. And. Um, I'm gonna do the technique where I, I put some flowers like that on the cabinets just to give it a little bit more um, of a feminine touch you know it is where the queen likes to hang out I'd like to think so let's make it a nice little blue color as well and I just want to make sure that the cabinets are not bumping into the mirrors which I can't do because it's blocking the way there we go cool cool beans I don't even think that we should put some clutter because it's already 
pretty cluttered in here but you know what you guys i think we have done quite enough in this part in the next part we're probably gonna work on this area right here which is gonna be drawing room library and all that awesome stuff if you have any suggestions please 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 leave it in the comments below and i will read it in my next recording for the next batch of videos okay guys so anyway having said that what i'm actually gonna do is wrap this part up right here okay guys once again please don't forget to hit that like favorite and subscribe button if you guys have fun because it really does help out this channel a lot have a channel schedule so if you guys want to know what's upcoming for the rest of the week check it out thank you guys so much for watching i'll have an awesome awesome day and i will see you guys next time bye bye